I'm Kevin Estrada with Sturgeon Slayers. I'm going to talk to you about uh, the side sling cradle that we have on our boat here. Um, we've discussed a lot of the safe handling practices, not only on this episode, but previous episodes uh, on BC Outdoors. And um, the side sling cradle um, is really going uh, on many of the new volunteers and existing volunteers through the tagging program. It allows us to slide fish in, um, tag them properly, make sure we get our length and girth, keeps the fish in the water. Uh, and it's a very safe spot for, for sturgeon. Um, so uh, as you've seen, we've, uh, we've got some small fish uh, today that we've had inside the cradle. And uh, uh, for us, uh, this allows uh, not only safety for the angler um, and, and the fish, uh, but it allows us to get accurate data measurements uh, as well. So uh, if you want to have any more information on these side sling cradles, feel free to uh, uh, DM me on uh, at Sturgeon Slayers on Instagram. Uh, we can put you in touch with the fabricator, whether it's for your boat for sturgeon fishing uh, or even for lake fishing for trout here in British Columbia. Uh, these are the brand new uh, Lure Jensen Legacy rods, eight foot sturgeon, uh, nice sensitive tip, picking up those subtle bites. It's been a, yeah, been a slow got, bite today, right? Yeah, but, a little bit slow. We got, uh, you know, we're going after juveniles today. We got two of the three yeah. fish on, on this rod, so it's great. Yeah, and really the reel is like a, uh, I'm going to call it a level wind, large arbor reel, right? Uh, lever drag here, yep. lots of great pickup on it too, right? And you got to get that uh, uh, enough capacity to hold about 150 pound yep. uh, braided line as well too. And so some of the things that you do a little bit different as we get further down is you're a guy that uses mono, yep. uh, a mono, a mono line as opposed to braided. Yep. And that again, that's just for fish safety, right? Yeah, it is. And so if a fish rolls in a line uh, on uh, on mono line, it's not going to cut them. Mm -hmm. And also it's, it's more abrasion proof on rocks. We're dealing with a lot of rocks mm -hmm. and shelves up here. And of course, when, when fish roll in the line or they jump and they nick the line, yep. uh, mono is great for that and it stretches. Yeah. So I change it throughout the day, but uh, I've always been a mono guy. Cool. And then hook size today, we've used different varieties of hooks, right? Yep. De de depending on the, the variety of baits and stuff. Yep. You know, we're using a bit bigger bait, we're using a bigger hook. Yeah. Um, and again, some so Gamma we've, Gatsus, right? So we've got, yeah, we got a Gamma Gatsu uh, ADOT um, uh, live bait hook is okay. what it's called and uh, super strong, thick, and you can put various sizes uh, of bait on that. So I use it for, for yeah. different species of bait, for sure. Okay, and of course, rod holders today, we're using the Scotty Orcas. Yep. Those are great for popping the rods out. Again, you're not having to move the rod forward, it's straight up and off, and you're yep. onto the fish right away, right? Yep, exactly. Yep. Um, one of the biggest things we've talked about too, not so much on the show so far, but is the live image yeah. lower end sounder. So why don't we go over there, let's have a quick look at that, show some of the yep. functions on it and see what it can do. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So what, what I like to use is we have the Lowrance HDS uh, uh, 12 and I like to do three images on here. This is your traditional uh, sonar, I got down scan here and then I've got the side image in which I can adjust to uh, how, how far wide I'm going and where I'm scanning an area to get mm -hmm. an idea. And all I have to do is uh, click my pages button, head down to live site and we are using the live site now, which has been incredible for me to, to learn about fish behavior, mm -hmm. what's in the area, how much they're moving and coming up to the bait. Uh, so when the fish comes through here, we'll see it on the bottom and it's all live. And then there'll be a tracer, which I've got it set to so that if I miss it, I can see the tracer, it stays on the screen for a few seconds afterwards. Yeah. Um, so this is great, obviously for this fishery, but, but lake fisheries, ocean, um, I'm learning how to use it. I've had it for a couple of weeks now, but it's been very impressive uh, so far. Cool. All right, folks, we're going to follow up with a quick list for you, and then we'll see it on the water.